Well, hello, everybody. Good afternoon and welcome to a very, very special live driver announcement for Graves Motorsport here this afternoon. How exciting is this? And uh, I would love to be, of course, with the Graves Motorsport crew. I am at home self-isolating because, yes, I did test positive for the coronavirus last week. Please say I'm absolutely fine. Uh, but that's the reason why we can't be with the guys. So I'm really, really sorry. But here we are instead. Now, we have not one, but two driver announcements to make very very shortly uh and now i can actually see one of the drivers is it in the green room right now now of course graves motorsport racing in the mini challenge the jcw this season and uh i'm pleased to say our first driver reveal coming up i can see him at the bottom there it's a man i know very very well in fact some would say he's a bit of a partner in crime with me we've done a lot of uh, this live streaming work together a man who's going to be racing in the JCW. It is Bradley Gravitz. And here he is as well. Bradley, uh, nice haircut, by the way. I have to say, you're looking very, very smooth, very suave. How are you? Thanks, Ian. I still love your intros. They're fantastic. How are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling very well. Thank you, Bradley. Yes, very, very well. Self-isolating to the weekend and then I'm back in action again. So, so yes, I understand. Yeah, you, uh, you had the big C in. That's unfortunate. He's having coronavirus. Nightmare. Yeah, I'm still in official isolation at the minute, hence the reason why I couldn't be with you guys today. It would have been great to have been down at Grays with you, but uh, I have to do it from here. But look, enough about me, Bradley. This isn't about me. This is about Graves Motorsport. The big announcement, you are, of course, lining up for Graves Motorsport in 2021 uh, in a JCW. Is that right? I am, yeah. It's been a big secret, Ian. I know you've uh, you, you've known about it for a few weeks now, but uh, it's it's been a big secret, and it is so 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 exciting. Um, so obviously, I'm taking the step up this year uh, from the Cooper class um, up into the JCWs. Uh, it's a different animal completely, and you can see you can see oh. the car behind me here. Um, so I just can't wait to get out in it now. It's 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 been mega. It's been a lot of hard work behind the scenes to make this happen, and it's absolutely fantastic. So I'm super super excited, Ian. Well, look, we're going to uh, come to a little look around very, very shortly, if that's all right. But before we do, I can see we have another announcement coming up as well. So we want to get people excited. We want to meet uh, the other driver. We've got another big announcement coming up now, haven't we, as well? Uh, there he is. He's at the bottom. I'm going to bring him up now. So are we ready for this? We're going to reveal the second driver racing with Graves Motorsport in 2021. Here he is. A man, another man I know very well. It's Max Coates. How you doing, Max? <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Nice to nice to see you. Um, actually, all this stemmed out of being uh, on a chat with you a little while ago. So it's pretty cool. Ah, I'm pleased to hear that. Now, Max, obviously, we, yes, I mean, you just hit it nail on the head there. Uh, we had a chat, didn't we, uh, a few weeks ago. Now, one thing I must, uh, if anybody, I mean, everybody will probably know you. If anybody doesn't, Max has literally driven every single car ever <laughs> on a racetrack, haven't you, Max? So tell us a little, give us a brief overview of your career today, because it does include BTCC, doesn't it? Yeah, so I did a, did a round of British Touring Cars back in 2015. Um, but prior to that, I raced in Ginetta Juniors, Ginetta Super Cup in both G50 and G55 variants, uh, Porsche Carrera Cup. And then after my stint with the, the Support Our Paris team in, in British Touring Cars in the Infinity Q50, and then went on to the Mini Challenge. Um, sorry. No, I didn't. I went on to Cleo Cup. <laughs> what have I heard about? <laughs> and then I came then I came back to Mini Challenge. And, and in between that, I've also done a um, bit of Citroen C1 racing in Brit Car, um, Dubai 24 Hours, all sorts of different stuff. Oh. So yeah, in terms of in terms of racing, I've I've done I've done quite a bit. Um but yeah, back in Mini Challenge this year with Graves and uh, Bradley as my teammate. That's what I like to hear. Are you racing is it a JCW as well, Max? So, sorry, say that again, Ian. Is it JCW as well, Max? Yeah, is that yeah. The class so we're you're running teammates, in? same team, same car, and uh, and hopefully both on podium. Well, I'll tell you something then, guys. One thing I think we all want to see is if we could have a little look at your cars. I think we'd like... Bradley, let's start with you. Can you give us a little walk around your car, please? I can do, yeah. So um, it's pretty much... Um, it pretty much apart from a few body decals, it pretty much is um, relatively standard mini. I believe they start um, quite standard. And Ian, you're going to tell me how I flip this camera around. That's not the one. Not like it. that. On its side. <laughs> it just, it should just turn that. It should. There you, go. there you go. How do I flip this around? I don't know. I'll do it from the front way. That's fine, Bradley. So, That's fine. There you go. <laughs> We're both so looking at our thing. Here, it's pretty much the same as, as most... Um, Looks wise in terms of the road car, you've obviously got a lot more flaring on there. 
Uh, you've got the big chunky bumper um, down there on the front. I can hope, hope you can all see that there. Um, you've got a lot of sort of flared arches at the bottom there. Obviously, you can see all the, the championship sponsors down the sides. Um, lots of these JCWs, they tend to have quite a lot of colour on them. So you see lots of accents yeah. across the rear wing here. Um, lots of accents around the lights. They've obviously got still the standard lights in there, the standard sort of uh, Union Jack lights. And my personal favourite part is that awesome diffuser down there at the bottom. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Whether it actually does anything, I don't know. I'll, I'm yet to find that out. I'm sure Max probably knows. Does it have an effect, Max? On, on... Yeah, a little bit. He thinks it does. He doesn't sound very sure. <laughs> inside, it doesn't look anything like a road car whatsoever, other than the fact it's got one seat in it. So that's what the inside of it looks like. Fundamentally, they are mini touring cars. So the cage is, is very similar. It's got lots of lots of detail around, around the car, obviously. It's completely stripped out um, from, from a standard road car, as expected. Sequential gearbox here, this little white stick here, pull it back for up and forward for down. You've got a handbrake there. You've got some fancy buttons here, which I'm yet to know what they all do, but mainly changing <laughs> windows up and down. Yeah, you've got your racing seat, your steering wheel, which comes off. And yeah, it's, 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 it's really, really exciting, Ian. Um, really exciting. And I cannot wait to get, get out in the car. So Bradley, you said something there. It is, it's a mini touring car. In fact, if you go to the <laughs> Mini Challenge website, they do say it is the closest thing to a touring car that you can actually race that's not a touring car. Would you agree with that statement, Max, uh, a person who has driven a bit in the BTCC? Yeah, I mean, actually, the, the touring car that I drove was a rear-wheel drive car um, in terms of racing. But since then, I've tested two different uh, front-wheel drive touring cars. And, and actually, yeah, you know, the, the comparison is there. Um, both, both the touring cars I drove in terms of front-wheel drive were quite different to each other. So I had to go in the Mercedes A-Class and the VW Passat. So, yeah, they're, they're a bit different. These are probably a bit shorter wheelbase, so, so very, very responsive to anything you do. Um, throttle steering, brake inputs. Um, but, yeah, you know, they've got similar characteristics to the touring cars. And, and I think even more so is the fact that we actually have three, three races. So, um, you know, in comparison to other things that I've done, you, you've got that. Um, industry standard free race um, yeah. system where you've got you know race one decided off a of, off of qualifying race two off a of, off a finishing position and then a reverse grid strategy for, for race three so that is what really prepares you for mini challenge well for pretty you, you mentioned mini challenge. yeah abs absolutely and, and I suppose with you know a, a full season really this year which we didn't have last year um Max, for you, which circuit are you most looking forward to going racing at this year? Yeah, well, I mean, we didn't get to race in it last year, but um, Croft for me. So the, the Mini, we actually did about three laps around Croft last year in the Mini. So when I did my pre-season media day, um, I took it out, but we didn't really do a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm massively looking forward to, to being back at, at Croft. Um Hopefully we can have some more wins there, and um, by that point we will definitely have some some fans back. Hopefully, definitely, definitely. Bradley, how about yourself? Are you uh, are you a Brands fan, or are you a Croft fan, or, or somewhere else? Um, I was I, I was baptised into motorsport at Brands Hatch when we first met in uh, about uh, about eighteen months ago, and um, I would have to say Brands Hatch is yeah, it's probably it's probably my local circuit other than Thruxton, but we're not running at Thruxton this year. Uh, in fact, the Mini JCW class doesn't at all run at Thruxton. I believe to do with tyres, but I don't know. So Brands Hatch is, is going to be the one, and I'm quite looking forward, as much as I like the Indy, I'm really looking forward to driving the long GP circuit. I think that's going to be, that's going to be mega to get a chance to go around the back there. It's really, really, really special, high commitment, and yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to that. Pro probably Max will say it's not very easy to, uh, to get right, but uh, I'll give it a good crack and we'll see. One thing we love, certainly about the JCW, the, the racing, it's so close. It's so tight, isn't it? And we're going to have, you know, it's looking like we're going to have crowds coming back. Is that something you're looking forward to? Do you, can, you, can you see the crowd? As you're thundering around, do, do you actually notice the crowd at all? Well, last year, Ian, you might, you might remember that I raced in the Coopers and we didn't have a crowd. So I'm yet to race with a crowd. Although I have heard, I have heard from, from, from my father, Rob Gravitt, um, as you may know, he, he, he was pretty all right in his, uh, back in the day when he was driving the cars. And, and he said that on occasion you could. <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard he won something. I only he won something once, yeah, a while back. But hey, and uh, he said to me before that you can actually um, hear the crowd on occasion. So I'm quite looking forward to that. I am. Max, is, is that true? When you're driving around, let's say you're going around Brands Hatch, for example. I mean, it's a fantastic spectators track. 
Uh, can you kind of feel a bit of the energy coming off the crowd? Definitely. And I actually think it was never more so evident than last year when we didn't have a crowd. So the atmosphere in the paddock was completely different without a crowd last year. So to anybody who's, who's trying to sort of answer that question, just being there last year was the perfect example of that because it was, it was very evident that there wasn't that atmosphere. Um, in terms of being able to see them, you definitely can. And I remember my first experience with, with a crowd was back in 2010 and, and Bradley will have this experience this year. Um, for me, he was rolling out at Thruxton on the Sunday morning and it was like, there is a lot of people here watching me and back then internet juniors watching me spin and make a load of mistakes. But um, hopefully now they see me doing cool things like overtaking people and uh, flying around on two wheels and picking trophies up. So, um, and yeah, in terms of being able to hear them, I think I've got a mega video from Thruxton um, where we had a bit of a crash. But um, the onboard, when I got out and slammed the door, you hear the crowd erupt and that is what British Touring Cars is all about. Um, I'm so looking forward to, to people being back and being able to experience that with us later this year. There's no better fans, is there, than, than British motorsport fans, is there, really? No. Let, let's be honest. You know? They love it. And of course, it's all about. And Bradley, you'll get to experience that. Um, slightly bigger crowds than, than we got at Enduro Car 18 months ago, I'd have thought. But, uh, there we Absolutely. go. Absolutely. Bigger uh, crowds than just, just my <laughs> mum there. <laughs> Uh, look, guys, the season starts a bit later than, than usual. Is that an advantage for everybody because it gives them a bit more time to practice? Or would you rather just, does it not matter? You just want to get into it? Um, it's, it's definitely helped uh, a lot of drivers, certainly myself. Um, obviously, the effects of coronavirus have been horrendous on lots of people and lots of lives and families. And, and, and it, it is a tragic thing. Um, but, but delaying, I think, is, 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 is crucial. I think it's crucial for a number of reasons. It certainly helps the drivers continue gaining budget, which it's done for us. Um, but it, it also gives the fans and the spectators an opportunity to potentially come back later in the year. I mean, I believe the first round is actually still uh, going to be kept uh, um, restricted. Um, in yeah, terms of just, there's no going to be any spectators there at all. And I think they're looking sort of after the second round to start having people back in limited numbers to then hopefully towards the end of the year, opening that up. I think I've got that right, Matt. I think that's about... Mm. Yeah, that's my understanding is Druxton very much behind closed doors, stepped and potentially slightly more open. Yeah. Um, which will be our first round in the minis. And then the second round for us is Brands, which should be about a week after we're out of lockdown and out of restrictions. So by that point, we should have full crowd back. And I can't uh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be mega. So They'll we'll, all be we'll... screaming when I overtake you to paddle. <laughs> <laughs> so will I. <laughs> Guys, this is going to be a cracking I don't know You can go to another back. camera view that we've got set up that's got, um, got, got both me and Bradley in. Um, I don't know whether that's possible. We, we, we can. It's not in the studio. It's not in the green room. So if we could get, Carl, if you're watching this, Ooh. if you could click that link, bring it into the studio, then we can get that camera angle for both of the cool. guys. That, that would be great. So, yeah, we can do that. Um, it would be great to see you guys. I was just actually talking of that. You guys, there seems to be a real good relationship between the pair of you. Of course, you know, the season hasn't started yet. When you get out of track, I'm sure it'll all be fair game and, and, and love and war. But you want to beat each other too, don't you? Oh, we do. Um, I, I think I think we all we all bring things to the team. Um, the the reason I love Greg's motorsport so much is because, uh, as experienced from from my past racing with them, it, it really is it really is a um, a team that they want to go forward together. Um, we both want to be at the front. Every driver does. But I think if we work together, we are stronger. Um, Max can certainly help me. Uh, I hope in some way I can help in return and. Hopefully we can both get get some podiums this year. We'll, we'll have to see. But I think you're of the same mindset at the moment, aren't you, Max? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think you've got us now on a different screen. So I'll I'll pull this down. How, and we can go how cool is that? Let, let's see if I can make it a bit a bit bigger. Has that done anything? That doesn't seem to do anything. There we go. Yeah, that's a great yeah. shot, by the way. Of I know YouTube, isn't it? I, I can't. Do, do we do we need both our phones up now, or can we we ping them off? I think you can probably ping them off, chaps. Yep, we'll keep keep you on. There we go, guys. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you, Max. Yeah, Bradley, say something. Hi, Ian. I'm on Go, yeah. Hey. I'm on. Now. <laughs> She'll be watching. Yes, you will. Now I feel absolutely massive because I'm just like this giant head <laughs> and then you two are next to me. <laughs> I just want to family and get the back guys in the back office to drop me down. Make us bigger. 
That's better. No, that's better. This looks better now. You, you guys won't be able to see this, but I'm now little on the right side of the screen and you guys are big. Uh, we're just getting another fine look at this, this absolute beauty of a car. Max, just give us a bit more information about what's under the bonnet there. So, so you say that again, Ian? I'll say, yeah, uh, we, we're just looking. We've got that front view now of the uh, the JCW there. Uh, can yeah. you just give us a, a little bit more of an insight? What, what's underneath the bonnet? What what sort of things is this? What brake horsepower are we running here? What have we got? Yeah, so two, two litre turbo engine. Um, we are. Hang on, wait a second. No, no, too late. I think it's too long. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just getting the driving <laughs> thing as fast as possible. <laughs> 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 um, in terms of brake horsepower, we are. Um, a shade over 300, probably maybe 300. Oh. Um, so in comparison to, to kind of other cars that I've driven, it maybe is a little bit less power. Um, we have a splitter on the front, um, suspension gearbox, so we go through the gears phenomenally quickly. And actually around a lot of the circuits here, we do reach the like the top of the sixth gear. So snap to turn under the bridge, we are up, 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 off, the, off the top of the limit and sitting. Oh, 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 oh. You'll, you'll hear me going through that throughout this year. Um, I think <laughs> Silverstone end of the back straight is also pretty quick near, near the top six gear. So the, the fact that we, the power is one thing, but the fact that we can use it all through every yeah. single the gears um, around these, these brilliant bridge tracks that we have, um, you know, it is fundamentally a part of why I love driving the Ninja car. And of course, you have to get an extra double drive as well. Absolutely. So it's a bit of control with that amount of power through the front wheels from uh, my, my sort of small amount of experience I've had in the car. Uh, we did a test uh, a while back in these, and the biggest thing that I noticed was, was this driving from the front of the car and the strength of the diff and how much you've got to work out to get the car working and the temperatures you've got to get up in the rear. Which, of course, Absolutely. the same in the minis last year, and the same in any front wheel drive car, it's one of the hardest things to do. And on the first couple of laps, from my experience, you just don't know if they're hot. <laughs> you, you basically turn it in, and if it slides, they're not hot enough. And you only find <laughs> Sliding. So, uh, yeah, you've got to give it a go on the, on the opening lap and, and see what happens, really. Fantastic. Now, guys, a quick question about Graves, actually. Um, wh why race with Gray? I, I know uh, Carl, Dave, everybody very, very well, and, and a wonderful family that they all are. Um, is that sort of family feel one of the one of the reasons why you race with Graves? Uh, I think so, yeah. I mean, they are, they are an absolute mega, mega, mega bunch of guys. Um, they do an absolutely fantastic job, and it's, it, it, it's quite incredible the amount of effort they have put in to get. I mean, I mean, just look at the setup they, they put together for us this year. I mean, I think you'll agree. I think that's probably why you're here because it is just so special. It's, it's like nothing I've seen before in terms of racing. My, my small experience in car racing, it's, it's, it's proper elite touring car level. You know, everything, machinery, equipment, the whole lot. It's, it's top class stuff. At support series level, there's a bigger picture to this. We'll see where it goes, but yeah, I think it is, it is the best team to be with for sure. I, mean, I think you probably probably agree with that. Yeah, I mean, echoing Brad's comments, um, I'm here one because of the the family environment. Um, so very much part of the reason that I go racing is is my family, also called Rob, is my dad. Um, two Robs, yeah, two <laughs> Robs, slightly different. <laughs> Into racing, and, and clearly that's the same with Carl and Dave. Mm -hmm. um, Peter, who's, who's I guess the dad of the family here, obviously has a passion, and uh, that's you know translated down to his two sons, and, and clearly that's the same with, with Bradley and Rob, and uh, the same with me and my dad, um, and, and also my mum. And um, yes, yeah, so the, the family feel is definitely a reason, um, and I think also for me there is a strong intention here from the Graves team to be in British Drone Cars. Um, how soon that is in the future, we will see. But that that fits with my goals and clearly with Bradley's as well. Um, so you know, between between us as a tri party, we all have the same aim and goal. And I think each one of us brings a um, something to that mix. So hopefully, we can we can grow together. And this isn't just a short term uh, one year mini challenge deal. It's something that that transcends you know the next. Few years um, for both me and Bradley and the team, and, uh, and we can grow into British Trend Cars in, in the future. That, that would be absolutely incredible to see. Uh, I've actually got a, one final question actually for you, Max, uh, and it is Have you managed to keep in the same car? Uh, are you familiar with this car? Have you, have you raced this one before? Uh, no, this isn't, this isn't mine. This is uh, my car. 
this is bad news. Yeah, this is this is bad uh, uh, Looks good, brilliant. Um, mine is mine's not in shop, but it's currently being um, being stripped down and uh, reprepped for the, for this season. It is exactly the same car that I raced last year, so it's come from from a league. Brilliant. Um, so yeah, exactly the same car. So for me, I know exactly how it feels. Um, the guys have, have done a good job so far in in reprepping it from, from kind of the end of last season, um, and hopefully me and Bradley can get underway with a bit of testing. Um, probably next month, uh, by the time we get out, and uh, yeah, there'll be, there'll be a lot more interesting news and fun to come from both of us. Soon the next one, uh, yeah, definitely. Well, look, guys, thank you so much for uh, giving up your time today to uh, reveal this big driver announcement. How exciting is this for Graves Motorsport? We've got Bradley Gravett and Max Coates will be competing in the Mini Challenge in 2021. It's going to be so exciting. Certainly, I think, uh, a duo to keep an eye out on this year and uh, certainly looking into the future as well. Guys, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Bradley, no doubt I'll see you soon and you as well. Uh, Max, we must catch up trackside sooner rather than later. Uh, right, that's it from us here at Graves Motorsport. Once again, Bradley Gravitt, Max Coates, the JCW drivers for Graves Motorsport in 2021.